And I want you to turn with me this morning. You'll find our Scripture reading in Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, and we're in 2 Corinthians this morning, chapter 5, the fifth chapter of Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, and we're recommencing to read this morning from verse 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1, Paul, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, of course, writes, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also hath given us uh, the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. And we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. That's the confidence of every believer. Because once our time today comes, it's absent from the body, isn't it? And it's present, present with the Lord, forever with the Lord. Amen, so let it be. And we know that the Lord will add His blessing to the reading of His own precious truth. Our text this morning, child of God, draws us this morning to an important factor as to how the child of God ought to walk day by day. Our text for this morning, child of God, draws our thoughts and our attention to a very important factor and how the child of God ought to walk day by day. It's not just this morning, child of God, a very important factor, but it's a vitally important factor this morning. It's vitally important, child of God, how you and I walk daily, walking daily in our walk with God. Can I ask you a wee question this morning before I go for any further? How serious do you take your walk with God. How serious do you take this morning your walk with God? You see, child of God this morning, is your steps being governed by the Scriptures? Is your walk being governed by His Word? What does the hymn writer say? When we walk with the Lord in the light of His Word, what a glory He sheds in our way. And child of God this morning, it's vitally important, vitally important, child of God, as how we are called to walk day by day. Our text this morning certainly leaves us in no doubt. It gives us a clear indication as to how the child of God walks day by day. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, here's my text, for we walk by faith, not by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. This morning, God wants to speak to us 
on this tremendous truth for the pilgrim's pathway. You know, child of God, you and I are pilgrims, making our way through this world until finally we reach our glorious destination, and that's heaven above. But this morning, God wants to bring us to a truth, a tremendous truth that we need to carry as we walk along the pilgrim pathway. Because you see, child of God, as you and I walk along the pilgrim pathway, you'll always come across great obstacles to try and hinder us. Along the pilgrim pathway, you'll always find great obstacles to try and stop us in our walk for God. How often we often sing that hymn, Oh, for a closer walk with God. And yet when we come into that closeness with God and we find that there's pearls and we find that there's dangers, we find that there's troubles and we find that there's trials, how often, child of God, we're tempted to take the easier route. To walk close with God, child of God, doesn't mean we'll have a problem-free, trouble-free pathway. Sometimes the walk with God can be very tiresome. It can come with many troubles. And because of this, we often are tempted in taking the easier route. We take a safer pathway, and we find ourselves walking on a softing, softer footing. But how often, child of God, we miss out on the blessings that God has for us. I'll repeat that. How often we miss out on the blessings and we miss out on the best that God has for us because we fail, we fail to walk by faith and walk by sight. When we walk by faith, when we walk by faith, we will always be the victor and never the victim. You see, child of God this morning, the man or woman that walks by faith, they don't see the great obstacles. They see the glorious outcome. They that walk by faith, by the grace of God, will always forbear but those who only walk by sight will often stumble. The person that walks by faith does not see the impossibilities. All he can see is the possibilities. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Just pause just for a wee moment. Are you focused this morning in your faith? As you walk day by day, child of God, are you fully focused by faith? Or am I speaking to some this morning who have stumbled along the pilgrim pathway? And you've stumbled because you're walking by sight. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Along the pilgrim pathway, you'll find many problems. You'll find many difficulties. And there's one thing about the pilgrim pathway, you don't have to go looking for trouble. It's trouble often comes Look at us. But as we walk along the pilgrim pathway, child of God, many times we will face foes along that path. Foes perhaps more greater, more bigger than us. And you know what I've often found, child of God? You know what I've often found? And I'm speaking from personal experience. You know what I've often found? I've often found this morning myself drinking from the cup of disappointment, 
drinking from the cup of despair, drinking from the cup of doubting, because I have often walked by sight, not by faith. When we fail to walk by faith this morning, child of God, we often stumble miserably. I remember the children of Israel in 1 Samuel chapter 17. Do you remember there they met with a, the giant called Goliath? And you remember Saul the king then, and in verse 11 of 1 Samuel uh, ch chapter 17, we read, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. You see, here was a king this morning, a, a king walking by sight. He wasn't walking by faith. And it says there in verse 24 of 1 Samuel 17, when they saw the man, that's Goliath, they, they fled from him, and they were sore afraid, and they were left powerless. And so many of God's people today have been left powerless because we're walking by sight, and we're not walking by faith. And when we meet the giants in life, when we meet the Goliaths of life, we're often threatened, aren't we? You see, Israel's problem was in 1 Samuel 17, they walked into the battle with the eyes of faith shut. They were in a perilous position. Goliath suddenly appeared. And you know, child of God, when you walk the pilgrim pathway, many a giant will suddenly appear. Am I speaking to someone this morning? Something has come into your life too big for you to handle. Something has crossed your pilgrim pathway this morning, child of God, that brings you into utter dismay. How come, child of God, when we walk by sight, we often see that the giants of life that comes, among, comes against us, they always seem to have the upper hand. You see, some of these giants that we meet often seem impossible to pass. John Wesley, the great man, preacher, and man of God who formed the Methodist Church, was only a wee small man. And one day, John Wesley was walking down a narrow path, and this big man of six foot four stood in front of him. And he knew what John Wesley was. He knew who he was. And he stepped out in front of him, his arms folded, and he just says, looks down at Wesley and says, I don't step out of the way of fools. And John Wesley looked up and says, well, that's all right, sir. He says, I do. Have a nice day. You see, you see, child of God, when we're not walking by faith, all we see is the giant. We can't see God. All Israel could see, all Saul could see was the giant. All they could see was Goliath. But they couldn't see God. And maybe I'm speaking to someone here this morning. And listen, across your pilgrim pathway, all you see this morning is the giant that you face. You've been walking, dear child of God, by sight. You haven't been walking by faith. And maybe I'm speaking to someone this morning. Someone this morning. Ah, listen to me. You perhaps may be facing an unbeatable foe. What seems to be unbeatable? And already you feel defeated. Already despair surrounds you. And you're wondering to yourself, what way can I turn? You see, child of God, that's the danger of walking by sight and not by faith. 
Because when we meet the foe, right away we always seem to be defeated. But in 1 Samuel chapter 17, a wee shepherd boy comes along called David. You know the first words David said to Saul? David was no soldier. All David was was a wee lad, a wee shepherd's lad. Do you know what David said to Saul the king? He says, let no man's heart fail because of him. Let no man's heart fail because of him. You see, here was a wee shepherd's boy. He's not walking like the king who walked by sight. Here's a wee shepherd's boy this morning, and he's walking by faith. You'll always meet a man who walks with God, and you'll always know a man when he's walking by faith. The man walks by faith, always seeks to encourage. And the wee shepherd boy comes, and he's walking by faith. And he comes to the despairing king, and he comes to the discouraging king, and the first thing he says to him, let no man's heart fail because of him. You know, child of God, the wee fellow goes on to say, thy servant will go and fight the Philistine. And Saul said to him right away, thou art not able. Boy, you'll always get the fellow with negative thoughts, don't you? You're not able. You'll always get the Corporal Jones in every church. You know, you do. Any wee thing at all, oh, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Or you'll meet the, you'll meet the private Fraser. No matter what comes up against us, we're doomed. doomed. You know something, dear child of God? Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Saul, who walked by sight, he could see that Israel, Israel was no match for Goliath. But David, who comes and he walks by faith, do you know what David sees? David sees that Goliath is no match for God. Am I speaking to someone this morning? And you face an unbeatable foe. Child of God, whatever you face this morning, whatever has come along and come across your pilgrim pathway, let me, bless, let me encourage you this morning. There's no problem that you face that is not bigger than God. God is... Bigger than your problem, Lord. No matter what that problem is, no matter what that giant is, sir, that stands in the pathway of your pilgrimage, there's no giant that's too big for our God. And you've come to this church this morning, child of God, and you've come with a heavy heart You've come this morning perhaps with a troubled mind. And this morning perhaps, whatever this morning this giant is, perhaps you feel alone. Perhaps you feel powerless. Listen to me, child of God. The God beside you is greater than the giant before you. David doesn't see Goliath. All David can see is God. And child of God this morning, it's vitally that we learn to walk by faith this morning. And then we see David, and he draws near to Goliath, and as he draws near and closer, listen, his faith doesn't falter. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand. Listen, child of God, listen to me. If God be for us, who can be against us? 
child of God, when we walk by faith this morning, whatever giant comes along our pathway, listen to me, we're more than conquerors through Him that loved us. Do you believe it? Because it's true. And but child of God, here's the problem. Here's the difficulty. We fail to know our God the way we ought to know Him. That's the problem. The problem is we fail to know God the way we ought to know Him. They who walk by faith and not by sight are a people who knows their God, knows their God. And no matter what foe they may face along the pilgrim pathway, they know this morning that their God is able. Do you believe God is able? Where He may lead me, I will go, for I've learned to, learned to trust Him so. Do you really trust Him? Wherever He may lead you this morning, perhaps along a pilgrim pathway that seems lonely, that seems narrow, that seems dark, that may seem difficult, my friend, if His nail-pierced hand leads you, God goes with you. God says, I, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. No, no. They that walk by faith know their God. They that walk by sight don't, the way they should. Along the pilgrim pathway, child of God, listen to me. We're to walk by faith, not by sight, because of the many foes to be faced. Ah, but listen to me. There are the many fires to be faced as well. Along the pilgrim pathway, you'll meet many fires that you have to go through. You know, child of God, this morning, as we walk the pilgrim pathway, you'll always come across people who want to scorn us, people who want to mock us because of our faith. And maybe I'm speaking to someone here this morning who's finding it difficult to be a Christian where you are. Am I speaking to someone this morning who's finding it difficult at work? Am I speaking to a young Christian this morning who may be finding it difficult at university? You're getting scorned. You're getting mocked. You're finding it so difficult to take your stand. You know what I've often found? I have often found, and I'm talking through experience, I often found that the fire comes mostly from friends and family. Do you know the first person that I met the fire of scorn through? It burns me to say this, but it's to encourage your heart was my mother. And you'll often find that the fire burns the brightest from those that you love most. Are you facing problems like this, brother, sister? You've been scorned in these days. People's making fun of you because you're a Christian. It's difficult. I know it's difficult. And it's hard. Many a time I had to listen to it. 
all because I wouldn't go with the flow. And sometimes you feel that you're the only person there. You'll often find that you'll face the fire of opposition from where you least expect it. Do you remember the three Hebrew princes in Daniel chapter 3, you think it is? Do you remember how they faced the fiery furnace all because they wouldn't bow to the great image? Those three Hebrew princes, they walked by faith. They could say to the great king, our God is able to deliver us, but if he's not going to deliver us, even better. You know, sometimes this will a struggle really happens. Ivan Thompson told the story of a wee fellow in school. He was the only Christian in his class. Second year at intermediate school, and there was an RE class, and the RE teacher wasn't saved. And believe it or not, they were speaking on David and Goliath. The RE teacher says, hands up anybody who, any boy or girl who really believes this story really happened. And this wee lad put his hand up. I do, sir. The rest of the class turned around and they started laughing at the wee fella because of his stand. What made matters worse, the very teacher began to insult, in, inflict insults to him. And the teacher said to him, how can you believe such a thing could happen? Typical wee Belfast man always has an answer. He says, sir, it's like this. If Goliath's head was as soft as yours, David could have killed him with a snowball. See, you young people, don't you answer your teacher like that now? <laughs> Maybe this is, this is you and your pathway this morning. They loved the Lord too much to deny Him. We're prepared to burn for God than to deny Him. You see, the pilgrim pathway is a difficult pathway to walk. You'll meet many a fool and you'll meet many a fire, and listen to me, child of God, when you walk the pilgrim pathway, it's anything but smooth at times. You're facing this, the foe this morning? Are you facing the fire? The person who walks by faith facing the fire says this, I am not ashamed to own my Lord or to defend his cause. Listen to what he says in Isaiah 43 and verse 2. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Eric Little was a man who walked by faith, not by sight. In the 1924 Olympics, the race that Eric Little was to run was to run on the Lord's day. Because Eric Little loved the Lord too much, he refused to run in spite of representing his king and country. Little was challenged, he says, do you not realize, Mr. Little, you're representing the king of England and you should run in this race. Little says, I represent no king of England. I represent the king of kings, the Lord Jesus Christ, and therefore I'm not running. A 
along the pilgrim pathway. Listen, child of God, I'm speaking from experience. You will be called upon to take your stand. And child of God this morning, whatever you face, foe or fire, remember, learn to walk by faith not by sight. And the only way we can walk by faith is to make sure that our faith is molded and that our faith is motivated by the Word of God. Child of God, to make your faith strong, for us to walk healthy, we must feed our faith. We must fashion our faith on the Word of God. And for those that walk by faith, know their God. And child of God this morning, wherever you are on the pilgrim pathway, and whatever you have been called to face, maybe fear has gripped your heart. Listen. Put your hand in his hand and trust him. No problem is too big for our God. And remember, Christ wasn't ashamed of you when he died on the cross. Don't be ashamed of him. Go through the fire. Walk by faith this morning, child of God. Not by sight. Because the pilgrim pathway, even though there's many things we face, but there's many blessings we receive when we walk by faith along the pilgrim pathway. Just trust God, dear. You trust God, sir. For whatever you face, and trust him that he'll see you through. And I trust you'll do that. May God bless his word to our hearts this morning. I want to